Imagine making $45,000 from just doing 10 hours of work. In this video, I'll break down how it's extremely possible for you and also if you are starting from nothing, how you could realistically make $100,000 in passive income per year and from that point, scale into even more. And when I talk about passive income, I think an appropriate term is something more like automated revenue, recurring income. And what I mean by passive income is money that is not directly attached to your time. So basically you don't need to be working in order to generate this money. In this video, I will unveil some of the sources that have helped me reach $100,000 in passive income, like this one right here and this one and this one. And so without further ado, let's hop into today's lesson. As I've mentioned several times before on this channel, the only way to make passive income is to invest one of the two following things, and that is time and that is money. Which one do you want to invest? In today's video, we're going to be talking more about the time aspect of passive income and how once you do the work up front, you can leverage that for many years to come passively that is. And another thing that I've mentioned several times is the only way to make money is to provide value and the only way to make passive income is to provide value that is not directly related to your time. So that brings us to the first big topic of today's video and that is with affiliate marketing. This has been one of the greatest sources of my passive income and I'm going to detail out the examples of my highest paying affiliate products. In the past two years, I've probably promoted maybe 20 affiliate products, services, um, you know, you name it, even referral programs. But like Prieto's rule always teaches us, 20% or even less than that of your efforts is what's going to have the biggest return. And it's no different with affiliate marketing. These three products that I'm about to talk about have given me the highest return for my upfront efforts. By the way, comment below whether right now you are in the position to invest time or money upfront to generate passive income. Let me know in the comments, time or money, which do you prefer? And so when we're talking about affiliate marketing, we are talking about promoting somebody else's product. It could be an individual, influencer, a company, it doesn't really matter, but what happens is you have your affiliate link and you have a code attached to this affiliate link and that code is to you. So when you promote this link online or you know through emails or however you want to promote it, when you make a sale, you get a commission, <laughs> you meaning you get a commission, and also the company gets the sale and they get a customer so everyone is happy. It is literally a win, win, win. And so according to my research, 48% of affiliate marketers make $20,000 per year. That is approximately $1,600 per month. And with what I found with affiliate marketing is it accumulates over time. And so let's talk about one of the lower streams of income and, a, and one of my favorite affiliate products to promote and that is TubeBuddy. Now TubeBuddy is a YouTube SEO tool. Of course, in my opinion, the number one tool out there, there's several of them. But I, I really love TubeBuddy. I have actually used this tool to grow my YouTube channel. There's features about this tool that have helped me skyrocket the growth of my YouTube channel, such as their Keyword Explorer and A-B split testing. And so because I love it so much and because I have gotten so many results with TubeBuddy myself, I'm proudly able to promote TubeBuddy. Now, if you take a snapshot of my earnings on TubeBuddy, you can see the cumulative growth over the past year. And that is because I continue to promote TubeBuddy in various YouTube videos. I have a course called Subscribers to Sales where I also promote TubeBuddy. And it's really cool because TubeBuddy is a great affiliate partner or I should say collaborative partner because they also want my audience to win. And so if I say, hey, would you do something special for my audience and can I get a promo code? They're very open to suggestions and that that's the way it should be. It should be a, an open discussion between you and the company if you really, really love it, especially if you are growing an audience, which I'll tap into later why building an audience is kind of the foundation to having a successful affiliate marketing business or just making good income from affiliate marketing in general. Building an audience isn't the only way to monetize with affiliate marketing, but 
it's definitely one of the best ways. And as a matter of fact, if you guys want to explore more into this topic and And as a matter of fact, if you guys want to learn more about how I've been a top affiliate with TubeBuddy, you can check out an interview that I did with TubeBuddy. I'll leave the link in the description, but it's very insightful. And there's a lot of cool ways that affiliates promote that product. The next affiliate product that I wanted to mention is Kartra. Kartra is one of my favorite online business tools of all time. I think it is an amazing platform to host your online business because it offers email marketing, it offers sales funnels, it offers a place where you can store and host your memberships. And pretty much 100% of my business is hosted on this Kartra platform. So of course, I'm going to be an affiliate for Kartra and they offer 40% commissions. And one of the things I must note when you are looking for a, an affiliate product to promote is a good range of commissions, in my opinion, is to receive at least 20% commissions. 20%, um, 30%, 50% and above, that's excellent, but you don't really want to waste your time or focus on those products that are only going to give you, let's say 5% or 3% because it's not, you know, it's not the biggest bang for your upfront effort, if you know what I mean. So try to, when you're looking for a, a product to promote, I would say, make sure it is a healthy commission range. To me, the best commission range is between 30% and 60%. So that is a rule of thumb with affiliate marketing and that, um, so 40% with Kartra is a great, great deal. In the past year, I've earned just under $30,000 promoting the tool. And one thing that I can say with Kartra that helps me uh, boost more sales and create more affiliate commissions is the fact that I offer a bonus with Kartra. So basically, if somebody uh, subscribes or you know joins Kartra through my link and they make the purchase, I'm able to offer them a funnels course. So I teach them how to make sales funnels and I break down how to do it with the Kartra tool. Cause a lot of people, when they buy a software, when they buy any type of thing, you know, whether it's a video editing program or, you know, how to do graphic design, there's always a learning curve. And if my bonus can help somebody save their time and their effort, right? That's worth it to them because they're like, okay, okay, I don't have to learn this on my own. Um, you know, she'll be able to break it down for me and tell me like which features I need to focus on first, what things I should learn from the beginning and so on and so forth. And so that's another thing I recommend highly is figure out what type of bonus could accompany your affiliate product. That's the difference between affiliates that are crushing it, making six figures, seven figures, and the difference between affiliates that are not, that are just promoting their links, okay? And so if you are thinking, well, what do you mean by bonus? It could be anything. It could be a, a PDF, a cheat sheet. It could be a free mini course that you include. It could be a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you. Um, you know, really anything you want to offer that is a good fit that goes with that affiliate product is really the best thing to do. And I think this is a great time to introduce the sponsor of today's video, and that is Skillshare. Skillshare, think of it as a digital library of classes where you can go and learn just about anything. And this is why I actually have a paid subscription to Skillshare because I love the fact that I could go to Skillshare and learn anything I wanted in an urgent matter and in detail. Anything that has to do with photography, cooking, art, any type of side hustle skill that I want to learn, Skillshare is my go-to community. And so as we talk about today's topic of passive income and developing a side hustle and really producing extra income, I love the class by Ali Abdal. Ali is not only a doctor, but on the side has a seven figure online business, okay? And in his class, starting a successful side hustle, he goes into all the details that you need to know to build a successful income on the side, whether you're working full-time, part-time, he's the man to really break it down. And so I highly encourage you to take his class and get started with Skillshare today. As a matter of fact, I plan to create classes on Skillshare in the near future, so that is some exciting news. So the first thousand people to click the link below will get one month free to the Skillshare Premium membership. You can't beat that, so go ahead, click the link below and get started today. All right, so let's talk about the next affiliate product that has pushed me 
to a total of over four or around $45,000. And that is Builderall. So Builderall is a online business tool and it's something that I promoted. I think I started promoting it in early 2019. So over two years ago, and it was a fairly new product to the market, but they offer a lot of different types of tools, including website building. They have like over 35 different tools and applications that will help you with your online business. And so when I say that this effort took me maybe 10 hours of work, it was because I probably made about four YouTube videos demonstrating the product and driving traffic to the Builderall tool. And I swear that's all I did. Like, that's why I'm telling you the review power of a product is powerful. It is evergreen because where are people going to find out more information about if a product is legit or not. They're going to Google and typing in X product review. They're going to, yep, you guessed it, YouTube. And they're typing in X, you know, product review so that they could look up comparison so that they could look up, you know, top 10 best this, this product versus this product. So these videos will be evergreen forever, or even these blog posts, and they could make you money for many years down the line, even long after you've created this article or this video. And in my opinion, that's why YouTube is number, number, number one, because with a video, it's a very great way to build trust and develop a relationship with your viewer. It's literally the second best thing to meeting someone in person and shaking their hand because on video, they are already establishing that trust with you. Okay. So recently I started a new affiliate marketing campaign on my, on my YouTube channel and already just within the first week of launching it, uh, my sales rate ratio is insane. I think it's like over 13%. There's been um, around 770 unique visitors to this product link and it's already generated like 102 sales. It's really insane. And so this is the power of, you know, affiliate marketing with YouTube. And that's why YouTube works so extremely well with that. And every time I make a YouTube video promoting some type of affiliate product, this is the reality of how um, the sales conversions to these products are way higher than if I were to promote to an email list, than if I were to use paid advertising to promote an affiliate product because it's warm traffic. It's warm traffic on Google and it's warm traffic on YouTube. And so the other reason I was so successful as a builder all affiliate is because I had a strategy and um, I've talked about this before where I had a landing page and then I had a bridge page that bridged people to the actual offer into my affiliate link. And I break it down in this clip right here on the whiteboard, what that all means. And for those of you watching and interested in affiliate marketing and increasing your sales, definitely take action on this model that I'm about to show you this page right here, which is the landing page. So this is the landing page also known as a squeeze page, a opt-in page, whatever. Okay. So here you're going to have a headline, maybe a sub headline and, um, a place to put in your email and your name, your name and your email, and then a call to action button. So that will, obviously be a different color. Let's go with what color do I have? Let's go pink. So it'll have a button that says click here, download here, something. Then that person um, on your sales funnel is now considered a lead and they are going to come here. This is called a thank you page. Okay. So thank you for opting in. Thank you for downloading. Thank you for trusting in me to give me your name and your email and stuff like that. So this could have a whole bunch of things, but what I highly recommend is whatever type of funnel you set up, this will be a video. Video is the number one most powerful marketing tool in the world. So the thank you page also known maybe as a bridge page, because let's say in affiliate marketing, if you're promoting an affiliate product, this is more considered the thank you page slash bridge page, which is bridging you to a product right here. Okay. But this video is going to explain what's next. If it's a landing page, it's going to say, Hey, download your freebie in your inbox. It should be arriving any minute. Now, if it's a call to action to purchase something or to buy something or to click on an affiliate link, you'll explain, Hey, um, you know, I've had a lot of experience with X, Y, and Z. Here's the benefits that I've received from this product. It's changed my life and blah, blah, blah. Here you can also show other testimonials, something. It doesn't have to be 
a super long video. It could be maybe two to three minutes or less than that. And then the call to action button, of course, can go below that and it could say, click to learn more, click to whatever, whatever, buy now. And so let me just say with a simple sales funnel like this, we call this just a two-step sales funnel uh, because it's literally two steps, one, two, and then boom. It's going to take a lot more than this if you wanna sell something like super high ticket. So this setup is for something where you have to either right here, sell something for a low price, okay? Or if your goal is to sell something for a higher price, then this right here, this page, this has to be something more. This has to be a webinar or a strategy session where they hop on the phone with you or they get more nurtured to buy the product if it's higher ticket. Because if it's higher ticket, okay, then they'd have to be nurtured more. And that's okay. That is what the purpose of a sales funnel is, is this is all automated. You can set up these three simple pages in any sales funnel builder. I prefer Kartra. Kartra runs my entire business. I'll leave the link in the description because if you were to sign up through my affiliate link with Kartra, I have a whole sales funnels course on how to use it. It's very incredible that you get for free for signing up through my affiliate link. But anyway, so the, the point is, this is very simple to set up. You can be up and running with a simple two-step funnel within a day and start collecting leads. And so now you may be thinking, okay, well, how do I get started? How do I pick a product? Don't worry, there's so many ways to pick a solid product. My advice to you is to think about what it is you are already using in your life, a physical product a digital product, um, a, a program, maybe you're taking some type of fitness program or losing weight or you know meditation, yoga program, ask them if they have an affiliate program or an affiliate link that they can give to you because you already are using it and love it so much. Um, another thing you can do is look at different affiliate networks. And the first one is Amazon Associates Network or the Amazon affiliate program where you can literally promote any product that is on Amazon right now so anything that you're using in your kitchen any electronics you're using you can grab your affiliate link literally today and start promoting it amazon it's good money yes it's going to take you a lot more sales though or you know visitors to your page in order to generate sales the bad not bad but the unfortunate part about amazon is that their their commission percentage is so low for most products it's under five percent like two to three to four percent so that's a disadvantage of using amazon so i would recommend looking elsewhere on uh, affiliate networks such as cj affiliate or else or better known now i think it's cj.com there you can find higher ticket products um, you can promote very big brands on that network. I also like Digistore24. I like this network because um, they're trusted. You can promote different things like courses. They have different ratings of people that are producing these products. You can also go to clickbank.com. Clickbank has so many different niches, you know, arts and entertainment, business, marketing, you know, health, finance, you name it. There's probably a niche for it and a product to promote on clickbank.com. Okay, so now we're going to dive into the next category of passive income that has helped me reach 100K plus, and that is with courses. So the, the online education industry is a billion dollar trillion. It's a big, big, it's a big ass industry. I mean, it's huge. And so there's room for everybody to tap into the online education industry and um, it's, it's great because there's several ways to go about creating a product, a digital product in the form of education. So that would mean you teaching somebody something, a process that you know, uh, a, a, an achievement, a challenge that you've overcame, any type of knowledge that you have. What a day to be alive when we can get paid for the knowledge that we have. True, true. And so if you know something, a, a knowledge or a knowledge, if, <laughs> If you know something, a skill, something that people want to know and that want to achieve the result that you've achieved and that maybe you've helped others achieve, then you can definitely charge for it. And the way to make it passive is to turn it into an online course. Most likely, 
Almost 100% of the time, this will be in the form of video modules where you teach, you get um, behind the camera, or you can use a screen share. You could use a tool like loom.com, which is absolutely free to get started. I think if you do pay for the paid version there, um, it'll give you the option to have 1080p HD, but you do not need to get started with it. Uh, you could use a tool like that to start teaching something. And then the question is, okay, well, how do you sell it? I would recommend having it hosted on your own website because this is the route to the most profitability, the fastest, meaning you control the price, you control uh, how much content you can upload into the course, and you can control like the sales funnel and the checkout pages and all that. And it does not have to be hard. You can literally have a course up and running within the next four weeks. I strongly believe that. If you're someone who is like struggling with how to create a course, how much to charge, trust me, in the beginning I was too. But that didn't stop me from creating my very first course back in the day, which was called Affiliate Freedom Academy, where I taught a lot of the things I went over with affiliate marketing with YouTube. Um, there, was, there was such a high demand for people wanting to know how to do it. So I'm like, okay, let me just make a course. And I just started making it. I was like, let me start with the process I would go from the very beginning. If, if I was a beginner, what steps go first? And then you can divide them into phases, right? And then you can divide the phases into different modules and different lessons. Make sure they have numbers, okay? Uh, but that is how I would start. So whatever it is you want to teach, you know, if you're a you know graphic designer, if you teach a different language, if you want to teach personal finance, any type of niche, yoga, meditation, that's the cool thing about it. I've even, get this, one of my favorite online courses that I've ever seen in the market is a, an equestrian course about horses and how to train horses to go faster and how to train horses on how to do like the obstacle competitions and stuff. I'm probably saying it all wrong, but that's fascinating to me to see all types of different niches being taught in the online education industry. I mean, you can teach makeup, you can teach about plants, really any type of thing you want to uh, give value and charge for, you got it, you can make it. And so that would be my first path to, to creating a course is hosting it on my website first where you could control the price. And so I know in the first year of selling my online course, it grossed this amount. I can't, I don't remember the figure, I'll have it pop up on the screen, but it was over $100,000 dollars and the idea is you put up the effort again one time and then you reap the rewards you're able to generate sales and again as i mentioned with affiliate marketing the best way to do this is if you are building an audience online meaning you are growing an audience on one of the social media platforms <clears throat> youtube is the best but yes that is that makes all of this uh, so much easier okay you don't have to again you can do other things like you could leverage other people's traffic you could uh, leverage paid advertising but that is my expertise and what I know how to do and that is what I you know I teach and advise you guys to do okay and so with that course um, th those are the results of the, my online course in the first year and again that is all an organic effort that was not utilizing a dime of paid advertising and that is something that I'm actually pretty proud of and so that's why I advise you guys to do the same if you're interested in me making a video about online course development and how to come up with a profitable idea that could sell, go ahead and let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to um, dive deep into a topic like this and make a video about it. The next thing that has definitely helped creating over six figures in passive income is automating a business. Now this could be any type of business really. If you're thinking about e-commerce, you could automate all the different types of processes in an e-commerce business that makes it generate money. So for example, uh, customer service and fulfillment, you can hire somebody to be in charge of all of that. You can hire somebody to be in charge of the online store and branding. You can hire somebody um, you know, to do uh, the Facebook ads of it and to do the traffic. So the point is um, automating a business is all about what Tim Ferriss talks about in his four hour work week book where he breaks down how to automate a business and how you can leverage people on your team to outsource the parts that either one, you don't wanna do, or two, that you are not good at or that consumes all of your time. Because if you are the owner of this business, your job is to focus on 
how to get either your clients results and how to scale the business. Okay. So typically most of the things in your business can be outsourced. And this is the key to automating a business so that you can focus on growing the revenue and scaling the business and generating more passive income. And so for example of that in my business, I've outsourced several different types of things like bookkeeping and taxes. I hate it. I never, ever, ever want to do that. So I've outsourced a tax specialist and a bookkeeper to do the books of my business. Um, I've outsourced, of course, the editing of my YouTube videos, because why? I, you know, I actually do like video editing, but I am not the best, okay? And it's actually a topic where if I went to college all over again, I would probably major in something like video editing and graphic design, because that stuff is fun. However, it consumes a lot of my time and my energy and my focus has to be, you know, in being the leader of the team and being able to grow the company, right? So I can't be dedicating my time to video editing during the week if I want to be able to work on the business, if that makes sense. Other things that I've outsourced, again, is the graphic design. There's a person on my team who helps with community support and customer service of the clients that we have and so many other things. And so that's the whole idea around um, automating a business is leveraging tools and also team members to help you because you can't do it all by yourself. So if you've made it with me this far, congratulations. Thank you so much. Why don't we continue the fun? Let's continue growing and learning together. Join me in this video coming up next all about making two grand a month plus passively. You guys are going to love this video. Let's check it out right here. Click and I'll see you on that video. Imagine planting little money trees online. Now that is exactly what I'm going to be showing you in today's video, how to start and build your little sales tree.